Folks, it's Sunday. Welcome aboard Tri Generational Margu campaign. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you are going to have a little bit of fun today. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord. If you want our crap, which uh, I don't know, uh, uh, there, uh, a lot of stuff, uh, bed spreads, I don't know. Tooth decay, <laughs> no, I don't know. We sell a lot of crap. If you want some of that, go out there. Uh, wait till it's free shipping, which I think it's free shipping right now. Uh, I don't spend a lot of money. Uh, also, thanks to our uh, fine sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, who helped me out last night out of a jam. And of course, oddfishgames.com, maker of Adventure Sense. If your game stinks, they will improve it. Uh, they also make the shine system. So if you want to learn how to write, pick up the shine system. Uh, and their how to RPG with a cat is coming to Kickstarter soon. I got to play that a couple weeks ago and it was fun. Uh, today, as I said, uh, this is the tri generational campaign. These guys have been in the halfling town of Lightwish. Uh. Uh, but they have uh, <clears throat> left on their own accord, we shall say, and they are currently offshore uh, in the sea waiting for something. Uh, we'll delve into that in just a minute. Uh, one of the party members is off on a call, so he will be back later, but let's start with the patriarch of the family. Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Leaf, the only sane party member left. A lover of wolves. In the middle of the ocean, those wolves will come in handy. Oh, okay. uh, next up is I, Manfang, are you younger than Haggis? Yes, I yeah. am. The youngest I'm member. 12. I'm pretty sure I'm 12. I don't know. I could be wrong. You are on the wrong show for being 12. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm five foot nine, so I think I'm 12. Yeah, he's 12. Cut off, cut off a finger and count the rings. You'll know for sure. Folks at home, don't do that. Uh, who are you playing today, little Frank? I am playing Man F. Fang, the diplomat. The um, smart S. S. One of the group. <clears throat> okay. Uh, next up, AJ. Make sure I'm unmuted there. Yeah, I'm AJ. I'm playing Felix the Great. Possibly the greatest of all time behind Tom Brady. But that may remain to be seen. Uh, you haven't paid me off, so. <laughs> <laughs> the check not arrive. It's the damn the, the mail service. It's the mail service, damn it. Uh, uh, next up, not really last, because his dad's gone right now, Haggis. Uh, Nicholas, tell us about your character. It's Haggis Crabstein. Man, a few words. <laughs> yeah, and man and a few brain cells, yeah. too. That's right. Captain. Uh, Captain. Captain. Uh, Captain. Captain. <laughs> Under his father, Copious V. Bitters III, a.k.a. Admiral Copious V. Bitters III. Uh, as I said before, these guys have left on their own accord the town of Lightreach after setting several buildings on fire and exploding three others. Uh, they currently have a lot of angry halflings uh, cursing their names. Well, except for maybe two individuals uh, because they were party favorites, I guess. We'll, we'll call them party favorites. Uh, they are out in the ocean on their ship, the Pistorus, uh, and they are currently trying to decide whether or not to move along move along, or uh, going after the treasure of Lear during their short, brief stay, uh, they discovered that uh, a religious celebration made the halflings donate valuables, which were pitched over the side of the cliff into a dark blue circle. Uh, this seems like a terrible waste of treasure, and the party is currently discussing the ability to recover said treasure so gentlemen i turn it over to you you are a safe distance away from the rocky cliff line of light reach what would you like to do you have all slept through the night you are all healed you all have your spells so what would you like to do we want to we want to head around to where the uh 
tribute is dumped if we aren't there already. Yeah. Uh, I think there was discussion that we were going to like try to sneak up because the tribute's getting dumped in the between the two, I don't know, mountains. I believe pass. it's like right below where uh, Gregorian uh, Butthead was standing. Yeah, we have Rodrigo to wait, Montoya. So. Roderick Montoya. You burned his <laughs> house. You burned his house for going to die. <laughs> so do you want to go there in broad daylight, I guess is the big question. No, no, no I think stay off short till dark. Okay. So uh, wait. Uh, can I can I just do this? I want to set this straight. I want to put on my shell. I want to put on my shell. Fair enough. Before we do anything. So, did you guys want to spend the night sleeping or just heal yourselves and go back at dark? No, no, no. I'm resting night. up. Okay. So Long go back on day two. Yeah, because I want I want all my magic back before I. Uh, who's in the front, Captain Hoggis, and I assume Felix the Great, the Navigator. Yes. Anybody up top? Okay, Haggis and Felix. Give me perception rolls. Fifteen. Fourteen. Uh, good enough for both of you. You notice some buffeting uh, going on on your ship. Uh, you have not anchored because you're out in the middle of the sea, but you notice the undulating waves seem to be smacking the ship a whole lot harder. Outside of the rectangular porthole that you guys have that you steer by, uh, you notice a large creature just skimming the top of the waves. We should probably go away. Uh, yeah. It, is the weather normal? Or the is weather the... today is normal. Okay. Yeah. So the buffing is definitely from the large creature. All right. How what okay, would you okay. say the size of this creature? Like really big or just big? I unleashed the Kraken. Very big. At least this big? At least that big. Right. Probably whale size. Hmm. That'd be about as big as a ship. Oh, that's good to know. Um uh, I have... guess let's not hit it. Fair enough. Uh, what have I been making you do? Performance rolls on your navigational skills or survival? Uh, I can't remember. I think it was probably performance. I don't think it was survival. It, it was performance. Yep, let's do performance roll. A four. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you didn't want to hit it. No, no. I said straight towards it. Obviously, <laughs> the dice said straight towards it. <laughs> Uh, you hit the whale. <laughs> uh, you roll a d20. I'll roll a d12. Try and beat me this time. Five. Six. Yes. <laughs> uh, fortunately for you, uh, it was a head-on collision. No oars have been damaged in the uh, accident. Uh, everybody else uh, lurches forward from wherever they were at that time and crashes to the deck. Uh, Felix and Haggis, you can hear screaming down both hallways of the Pesteris. What in the hell are you doing up there? What's going on? Uh, I'm going to say to everybody, there's no need for an alarm. We may have thrown a propeller blade, but everything seems to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no propellers on this thing, son. There's oars. Oh, then it was an iceberg. <laughs> right ahead. In the semi-tropical. Semi <laughs> <So, laughs> that's why it took us by surprise. We were not expecting icebergs. <laughs> like, the yellow pan 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 was I don't know what he's smoking, but take it away from him. Uh, as you can tell, Felix, nobody <laughs> believes you. <laughs> there uh, may have been some Maui Wowie. That's all I'm saying. A moment later, a plume of water... Uh, flies up. Some of it sprays into the little portal, uh, and you can hear whale song. Uh, does anybody speak song? Yeah. Does anyone speak whale in our party? <laughs> I speak whale. Uh, uh, I don't think any of you took cetacean as uh, an extra language. Robert, maybe we should 
can translate language. Can maybe we should see what the it. creature is, like look at it, you know, just to see what it looks like. Maybe it has horns. Maybe Does it's it friendly. It maybe it's made out of maybe it's made out of styrofoam. We don't know. Could be a pool noodle uh, whale. Uh, it is actually a gray whale, uh, large. Uh, I'll take Arcana check from everybody. Oh yeah. Or nature. Okay. Let me check how bad both of them are. Thirteen. <laughs> wow, they're both minus three. Both uh, Seventeen. Minus three. Just a regular sixteen. So whatever I roll is going to be horrible. Seven. It was it was a sixteen, so that's a um, that's a thirteen. Well, that's not too bad, uh, Leaf. Uh, you're fairly certain that the gray whales are friendly, or at least not aggressive. How many? Of are I don't know. That is a. Great, <laughs> How many are there? That is a gray whale. Don't do anything. They're not. They're not aggressive. We're generally. not trying to do anything. <laughs> we're trying to get out of here. One of you messed up, and it wasn't me. Do you want Maybe. to try and escape again, Felix the Great? <laughs> I think we should go to a little bit shallower water, <coughs> but not too shallow because I don't know what the tide is doing. I mean, I, of course I know what the tide is doing. I'm the navigator. Shallower water <laughs> away from the whales. Uh, you will remember that the rocky coastline was not very conducive, but if you want to head that way, you may do so. Navigator thinks it'll get us away from the whales. But I'm not the one who's responsible for the ship there, Captain. Let everybody <laughs> on board. Start a mutiny. What say you, Captain Le Crapstain? Le Crapstain. It's good. So, Navigator, where, where are we going? Where do you propose? Uh, let's go up towards the shoreline and kind of hug it so that we can... I don't uh, know, but... I, all, yeah, all we have to do is just leave the wavy, the choppy area where the whale yeah. is. That's yeah. all we have to Navigate. do. That's all we have to do. We don't want to go close to the shore in daylight because Rodrigo is still up on the bluff. No, he's not. He wasn't there all night. Come on, it'll be fine. What are you yeah, we're not, we're not it's been two days. On it. I think he's smiling. I can't tell. Oh, he's, laugh he's, smiling. <laughs> he's laughing at us. I tell you right now, when Copius wakes up, there'll be hell to pay if you're headed for sure. What if we take, uh, like a, a telescope and put another telescope towards that one, so we can like double vision see. Do you, do you mean by small <laughs> problem though? Do you, you don't have a telescope, let alone a second telescope. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Let's just carefully move away from the whale. We don't have to go far. Let's just get away from the whale. Okay. And Very gently. Can't we do what they want to stick all the we need, in the Well, water. if we oh, went yeah. head, we went head first into it. All we have we to do is just back. roll backwards. Roll back up. Back yeah, up. back up. We're in a rowboat. Sure. We can go backwards. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Haggis, do you have to roll to see if we back up properly? Now, that would be the navigator's job. <laughs> all right. Back it up. Are you going to make the beep, beep, beep noises? <laughs> this, is a, this is a ship, not a forklift. Remember, one long you know, you're for saying, entering the harbor. The for was making that noise. Oh, what is it? Performance? Yep. 17. Very nice. He does successfully back up. Uh, <laughs> Haggis and Felix, uh, you guys are still on the forward deck. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Christ, how many whales are in this bunch? Just one. 16. 16? Uh, it looks like it's playfully following you. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's, oh, it's going to mate with us. <laughs> I think it is going to mate with us. Yeah. Uh, do we have cannons on board? <laughs> yeah, one thing we can do is sometimes yeah. they get thrown in the water. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, had, <laughs> you had three rockets. Those got used against light. We have to save those. We have to save. We them. already used. Them. Already wait, no. Oh wait, wait we did. <laughs> you used them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Captain. You know, we were going to set it all on fire the good old fashioned Robert of Zeppelin way, but let's no, just, you got to get fancy with the, uh, the row, row away from it. 
It it way, it, that made the Transformers. We'll if it'll give up, stuff. they are, but it keeps following us. <laughs> Do you guys think? I think Copious wants to, to, you know. Uh, yeah. Let's row backwards faster. Sure. Yeah. Uh, give me your roll. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Ten. Uh, it's gonna follow. <laughs> Another blast of water comes out of its blowhole, uh, peppering the ship. Uh, sounds like it's raining, uh, but uh, can we tell it to stop like a dog? Like stop and stay. No, no, stop. Stick Wait. your hand out the portal. Yeah, <laughs> stop. I think somebody should go up on deck and see what this thing is looks like. Yeah, I'll like Copius, it. he could do it. Oh, Copius can do it. Copius could do it. I'm gonna I, send I copious. Show on All that. in favor? Copious going to see the whale. Copious and Robert. Like, <laughs> copious and, copious and Robert. Jonah? We're, we're gonna just rename him Jonah. You'll have to go fetch him after. I this. know we've got so many biblical scholars in this group. You I know, caught it. followed by I the whale. It. I guess I can go. Oh, Alex. Oh, Nicholas. And your mother stuttering to be a, a, a reverend? A lot of things. Oh, my God. If I had a ruler, I'd be smacking some knuckles right now. Done it. Uh, Turn it over and use the metal edge. That's right. The, uh, the, the whale's going to follow you, but it uh, just kind of nudges the ship a little bit. That means uh, causing... we're going faster? That's all right. Let it, yeah, let it's going to push you. Okay. Just, uh... But, Haggis... Odd, it pushes you towards the rocky edge. Even it pushes you towards the open sea. Roll a die and tell me which way you go. The whale's a terrorist. <laughs> Fifteen. That's an odd number. You're headed for the rocks. Let me ask you something. Where, where are these rocks at? We were out in the open sea to start with. Yeah, but you guys have been going backwards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you guys were out in the open sea and around. So you aren't anywhere close to where Rodrigo can see you. The navigator, are, whole, are you noticing that? Light reach. Oh, the navigator sees it. The navigator's saying, let's go towards the rocks, obviously. And the whale's helping us out. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Whales can't swim if there's no water. Duh. How long can you tread water? I'm tall. I don't have that problem. When, I'll just when, stand up. When Jason oh, we have comes that back, oh, we have that scroll say, that makes us swim. Yeah, Jace, while you were gone, we wrecked the ship on the reef. <laughs> You're the only one on board. <laughs> Listen, I, I want to yell at Haggis and say, look, you need to turn and start heading back out to open sea. Turn the damn ship around. Let it push us <sighs> behind and get us out of here. That sounds good. To, yes. You need to. Phineas and Pierre concur with Leaf's opinion and uh, look at you, Navigator. <laughs> I'm going to look at the captain and say, uh, let's turn it around, I guess. Captain, order him to do what I agree. Do. I agree. Then, Navigator, can you turn us around, please? Sure. I'll tell uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll shout some instructions to have one uh, side of the ship start rowing forward and the other, and the other side aft, the other way. So yeah. we can. Pivot around. 90 so, degrees. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> using geometry as your guide, which side's going to row forward and which side's going to row backwards? See, I feel like that's a loaded question because does it matter what my answer is? I'm going to say the wrong thing anyway. Pretty Probably. much. Uh, let's I'll let you roll forward if you want. Isn't let's go with of it? the starboard side is going to go forward. Okay. So the right side, we were going backwards. We're going to turn to the left. Correct. Okay, that is that is a fair assessment. Uh, go ahead and make sure that you can bellow out your uh, suggestion. 11. Close enough. Uh, you feel the ship start to spin and get yet another nudge. This nudge will hog us odd even. Three. Odd again. However, you are already turning, so now you are returning back out to sea. Uh, yes. Felix, give me a D20. 15. 
The whale is tired and starts to swim away, oh, giving you the Star Trek for uh, whale song as it heads towards San Francisco. You now sit out, bobbing in the open ocean. Uh, you can see the rocky coastline. You are not in any danger of landing in it. And from what you can tell, you're still a good three or four nautical miles away from where you last saw Rodrigo. Hmm. I think so, we should do it. I think we should do a chick uh, ship check. You well, know, we've been hit quite a lot by that whale. Maybe we should. Yeah, yeah. I think we should definitely do that. Yeah, it didn't uh, last as long as the master of dexterity. Well, well let me ask. Let me ask you guys. Did did? Of course, <laughs> have copious here. I wonder how long these pills are good for. Pills? That's a good question. He doesn't know. I don't yeah, feel he, like we can swim four nautical miles because. That'd be quite a long time for those water breathing pills to work. Oh, uh, the speed that those little twerps were spe swimming? Nah, not that long. They were rather dolphin esque. They were haul hauling ass. Everybody who's checking the ship for leaks, give me an investigation roll. Everybody? Everybody, Everybody who's checking. I'm not checking because that'd be a bad idea. That would be a bad idea. 12. I'm going to uh, make a hole accidentally. 11. Leaf? Uh, plus two, 14. Okay, fair enough. No leaks. No leaks. No damage. No bubbles, no troubles. What time of day is it? Uh, that depends. Did you guys take the whole night to sleep? Or just yeah. sleep out? Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, it can be afternoon for you. Okay, then we should we should figure out where he uh, that low where we are. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Uh, I think we should look at the maps and let's form a plan for how we're going to get up to where the tribute was dumped off while it's still daylight. So then we can execute our plan under the cover of darkness. Well, I, th I think he's going to be watching out to sea because that's the direction we went. Oh, so if we go on land, he'll be looking at sea. If we go on land to look around, not go close or anything, but maybe just a look what, at the... What does the shore look like here? The shore is rocky. It looks like an open sea. The problem is the blue spot is over here, and this is where you came into the cove. So you can hit land over here, but you still have to make a shallow sea crossing. Hmm. Not not out of the ordinary uh, because you guys had difficulty navigating into the cove itself. So getting over on this part of the sea, you should be able to take your pills, use your spells, swim across to where the blue mark is. I think that's what we should try to do. Uh, like now or when we do the... We don't want to put all the way into shore. We want to <laughs> set offshore a little bit. Right. Now remember, the, the coastline is kind of rounded, so you could feasibly put into uh, shore out of sight of Rodrigo, but your approach will have to be very stealthy uh, when it comes to the opening of the sea. And I will when we translate that, we will have to make many, many rolls to get across that open water. I could go unless you're underwater. If I put my shell on the right way, I look like a turtle. So that's true as well. Yeah, we can have disguises. You know, that's all you got to do. Is hope Rodrigo don't have a thing for turtle suit. I hope not. We could change our clothes. You know, if we go <laughs> in the <laughs> island, we could wear normal people clothes. A balaclava. Yeah, uh, as a halfling, you're okay. Uh, not so much the other members of your party. Oh, I haven't been on the island. I could go on, check it out, and then come back. Well, you were standing on top of the boat with me when I shot that kid through the eye. So yes, you were. They didn't. I, uh, let's just, I went let's back just do what we said. Get in fairly close, and at dusk, we swim for it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's Navigator, do, it. Uh, do you want to land the actual ship, or do you guys want to take the skiffs? up to the rocky shoreline. I don't think uh, if we need to take the skiff, do we? We're going to be swimming. 
Maybe we should leave yeah. this skiff like on the like in under some How bushes are we or something. Gonna swim back all that treasure with the skiff. If we put it like in the bushes and then sort of just like, yeah, you're still gonna have to drag the skiff across the open water. If you're gonna do that, you might as well row the damn thing. In parts of the Caribbean, they the like they were oh, yeah, the underneath boat. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we could do two people at a time with the boat underneath the water. Yeah, parts of the Caribbean. We could do yeah. that. Yeah, sink the skiff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't like that idea. <laughs> you can use the only I'm strangely thing. comfortable with it. <laughs> That's it another reason why I don't like it. I think, yeah, let's just... We got, Number one, we know they've been pulling a treasure out of here, so how much is going to be there? There may not even be any there. There isn't going to be any anyway. If we each take a gunny sack with us, and take what each one of us can carry. Okay. Yeah. That you sounds know, reasonable. If we have to walk part of the way back on the seashore or seabed, what what difference does it make? Now keep in mind, you'll be on the outside of the cove, much deeper water. And that dark blue discoloration that Felix saw, probably really deep water. But it was just an eye. Hmm. I like uh, the great uh, blue hole in Belize. It's just a circular, dark blue patch of water surrounded by the regular colored ocean. Like the great blue hole in Castilla. Mm -hmm. We have so, one of those here, Alex. So I did not know that. Dusky. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Blue hole. So. so the question is, on the sea, <clears throat> this is where Rodrigo and the Blue Hole are, were. You're going to be landing on this side. My question is this. Do you want to land the boat close to the shoreline or take a skiff in or say, screw it, here's the water breathing potions, let's just do this. Those are your three choices. I think we should do the skiff so we don't have how to many, ah, How many of these water breathing potions do we have? Well, how long do they last? I think he got 10 pellets and he does not know how long they last. Ugh, I'm hesitant to waste one right now just swimming into shore when we can easily well, take, well, we take the skiff all the way in. Wait till a yeah. little dark. Yeah. Take the skiff all the way in and hope that he can't sense our presence. I could it's still wear man. normal people clothes. I mean, it's just... The level. bottom line is, if he does, you guys take your pills and swim like hell. So yeah, taking, let's, take, taking the skiff and landing take, on the skiff, rocky Take coast. the skiff in, get the gold, and just take the skiff out. If anything happens, take I, the pill and swim. We like have out. to land on the rocks. Can we? Uh, is that, or can we just take the skiff in and park? I don't like the idea of getting the boat close to the shore. Yeah, me neither. You can take the skiff and land it over on this side of the opening, and then you can climb gingerly or swim with your pills slash spells over to where the blue hole is. But if you take the skiff all the way across the opening, eh, that, that has a higher degree of getting caught. So we can't go around <coughs> to get to the blue hole? You could, but the blue hole is where Rodrigo was. So if you right. come in this way, Rodrigo will be looking over you. If Rodrigo is there. All right. All right, let's do it. Said we'll leave it skiff at the first place. We'll cross the shallows to get to the blue hole. Yeah, let's do that. You yeah. guys uh, have a light meal because you don't want to go swimming on a full stomach and get the bends. Uh, you successfully beach the skiff. Yeah. You're gonna have to go single file across the rocky exterior. To where the opening is, who, i.e., will be rolling stealth, wants to lead this expedition. Not me. The stealth I am master. Not a stealth guy. I master stealth. the stealth. I have uh, ten. Go <laughs> ahead, Felix. Give me your stealth roll. Roll a one. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> hey, Christ. You know, stealth master. Uh, the good news is. The sun is coming out of the west it, because nice. it's setting. So uh, you're having a hard time looking up to where Rodrigo was 
uh, because of the sunlight hitting you in the eye. The good news is you assume because they're looking out, if anybody's up there, they will be mostly blinded as well. You do see what appears to be new construction at the top of the cliff where Rodrigo was throwing rocks down at you. And it appears as though they are building a tower. A tower or a town? Tower. tower. Their tower's going to get set on fire before we're done today. Hagas, aren't you a thief? Yeah, my stealth is 10. Why the hell did I really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, and he's a halfling, so you know he's stealthy. Do we have any uh, do we have any gunpowder on the uh, ship? No. Yeah, I've not found any additional gunpowder. Well, There's I'm no- think well, what if we burn the watchtower? It's, it's a hey, stone hey, base. You got to um, get up there around Rodrigo to do it, dude. That's not right. A good he idea. has never seen me. Yeah. You'll see yeah. it that time. But it would be pretty suspicious seeing a man walk up. Oh. Okay. Well, he's a halfling. And it would be that, yeah. So, uh, Felix, you assume your landing has not been noticed and that you are in position to go ahead and take the pills or use leaf spells to go into the water and swim across the open channel. Now, where we landed on the shore, can we, is it, are we, can we see that tower? Can we see any movement going on over there? Any construction activities, anything like that? You cannot, although since you've been in town for a couple of days, you also know that this is meal time. Ah, perfect. I think let's do it now. Wait, it's still sunlight, right? Uh, sun is starting to set, but it is still sunlight. The good news is that ball of orange fire is right on the the uh, horizon. Yes. So oh, it's just yeah. Beaming Perfect. light in. Yeah. This, this is, is good. the time. Let's do it. Let's do it. So are we using the pellets that uh, Copious has, or are we using the spell that Leaf possesses? Uh, I think let's use the pellets. <laughs> Why don't we use the spell and then we use the pellets to come back? Because I'm worried what the pellets are going to do, and I'd rather have the spell be our ripcord to get us out of there. So did the halflings use the pellets or the spell? The halflings were using the pellets. I'm a halfling. I could use the pellets. I don't know, like, four for Felix because he's a human. Like, I don't know the size ratio. Yeah. Like, you might need <laughs> to take seven. Here. <laughs> to... You know, we'll find out. Go ahead, Felix. Take your pellets. Yeah, you wouldn't want to overdose or anything. Oh, hey, man, boy. You want to do something? You want to be somebody? Take so, yeah, you, you have a halfling and a gnome. Yeah, and Felix, if you remember, those halflings we saw <laughs> were all naked females. Copious was a... I wonder if they started out that way. Children. Oh, <clears throat> Stop giving have, him ideas. Do we have to cut <laughs> copiouses because he's a gnome? I, I like, was su- I was surprised anybody even thought about the size discrepancy. So that was impressed. That was, impress that was a good catch. So, I, you, so you have ten pellets. How many does each person want to take? There are five of you, as Robert of Zeppelin is remaining with the ship to try and keep the crew from stealing your vessel. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I think I gotta take at least two. I'll take one. It depends because we could do halfling sizes. Because if we only take one, we could just stack. Like, so are are we are we taking them and then swimming straight to the place? Right. I believe that is the plan. Okay, I'll I'll get in the water to like maybe yeah. maybe out. maybe shoulder high, shoulder high, Which just so the water's <laughs> so I can have my head out, and then I'll have a pellet. Okay. Yeah. You do not feel any different after taking the pellet, Hoggis. Okay, I'll need another one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're not even going to try going underwater? Oh, oh. Dumbass. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to hold you down under the water and see if he strangles out. Okay, I hold my breath and I go underwater and then I release air. You You seem to be okay. Also, you have a complete freedom of movement uh, unrestricted by the bounds of the buoyancy, so you can move fairly quickly. That's everybody, everybody on shore can see him darting around like a cat chasing a laser beam. Okay. So everybody take one. 
I'll take two because I'm bigger. No, you take one. I start off taking one no. as well. I've been down that road before. You ain't going to waste of what? If I take two, I'll just go faster. Right? I'll take one, wait a half an hour, see how I feel. <laughs> then I'll take the second one. Only take half. Everybody roll a d20 and a d10 and tell me what your totals are, please. Uh, I'll, I will roll for copious. So what do we add them together? Yes. 22. Uh, thir- uh, 27? 26. Hang on, I gotta look at this dice. 25. Damn, I thought I was doing well with 22. Oh, that's, that's all- that'd be one. That'd be, no, that'd be 18. My bad. I was I, uh, the dice is my tens. I got <laughs> 26. Hey, everybody. I'm Steve the Pirate. <laughs> oh, uh, oh puppy. so uh I I assume everybody gets in the water, takes their pellet, and starts yeah. to swim. Okay. Uh it is going to take you. Only three rounds to zip across that opening because you guys are swimming like your ass is on fire. Uh, as you get to the far side of Alex, the... you know that feeling going to two legs? Oh, I'm sorry. What? That's a familiar My feeling. Ass being on fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once you get to the other side of the cove opening, do you continue to the blue spot or make sure that nobody's spotted you? If they've spotted us, I sure as shit don't want to uh, poke my head up and confirm it for them. I'm going straight to the opening. <coughs> Everybody else? Same. I- I'll take a peek. Can't you turn into a fish? Can't you just, like, hide? Yeah, I can. Uh, you notice uh, no one, uh, although the sunlight is up there, the shadows are starting to take effect. You do not notice anybody at the new construction. You see a couple of orange buckets there that says Home Depot, but other than that, hmm. nothing. All right. Home Depot, if you'd like to sponsor us, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that that sponsored song. by Myers. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I assume you catch up with the others. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you start to head towards the darkened spot, I will assume Felix is in the lead since he's high tailing and he's the only one that knows it. Uh, give me a perception check. Come on, Felix. Roll high. Big numbers. 19. All right. You see a discernible discoloration of water, uh, the standard water, and then there is a darker, more azure colored thing. But you also notice small things floating in the azure water. Mm. Looks like baby jellyfish, maybe. Not very big. You know, there are a type of jellyfish that are called man o' war. And their and their tentacles. They're, they're really cool. big. They're about a hundred feet long. Yeah, they're really they, big. But they're I wild. don't know about this. Go up, swim up there. See if you can identify <laughs> these boats. <laughs> now let me touch it. Okay, number one, we're underwater, guys. You can't talk. Can't we talk? <laughs> you? Oh, you have to. Yeah. Uh, and I. <laughs> I catch up with it, and I'm going to look to see what's in there, and I'm going to go. Who wants to go into this uh, collective of small little creatures? Well, Pretty small. I could fit through that. Do they run all the way down to the bottom of this thing? They run down as far as you can see. If you would like to go deeper and cut in, you may attempt to do so we need to go deeper we got to get down to the bottom of it right yeah yeah Let, let's stay outside of it as long as we can and go to the bottom uh leaf d12 against me uh hang on i gotta find it come on baby 10 uh it appears as though the translucent globes don't give a crap about you guys and they continue to float on the waves you go down uh, 30 feet. 
Everybody roll a d20. Ooh. Oh, that's a six. Well, four. August. And red dice. Four. <laughs> Manfang, Haggis, uh, and Felix. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> I'm going to take another. Little air bubble. I uh, think I should. But take other than that, you, you don't seem to have any ill it's effects. It's wearing off, so I think we should take another. I think we need our pill. I think we should. Pop I think I need one. another breath. I think we should pop another pill. Yeah. Uh, well, e each of you, if you split them up, each of you have two pills. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that yet. I'm going to go up and take another breath and see what happens. So go up? Well, we could just swim all the way down here. Well, we're no, near I'm, the... I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, I think. Just to, It was just okay. I'm going to look around. Do I see anything? Uh, well, it... As you're deciding? The blue eye is very dark. Uh, it is a deep, deep blue discoloration. Uh, and your visual acuity is not up to par underwater. The pills do not uh, help you in that aspect. Uh, so it looks like you're going to have to pierce into the azure water. Well, does anyone have see, see in the dark? Yeah, dark vision? Uh, yeah, dark underwater? vision? Night vision? I do. Leave does it work underwater? In the cold, cold water of the sea? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Perfect. <laughs> so, did, did you guys know the, the dark pills does not? not work in that? Uh, it will, in some to some extent. Uh, remember, you're underwater. You are in three dimensions at this point in time. Right. We should have brought glow sticks or something. Can't we just light one of those SpongeBob SquarePants style <laughs> torches that works underwater? Yeah, yeah uh, uh, magnesium. Sure. Uh, yeah. Listen, <laughs> well, hang on. Let's let Manfang. Is it your? Uh, is it your uh, poison? You have poison breath, right? Or is it acid breath? It's acid breath. Acid. Yeah, that don't help. Why would I need poison breath? Well, I'm just in case these uh, uh, jellyfish are poisonous. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I have. A, wait, I, I'm wearing that crown thing. I have a resistance to poison. That's true. He's also wearing a shell on his back. Could, if shell. they touch his shell, yep. well, yep. if we use him to go down, like push him, so his Thanks shell is against it. Friend. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks for drowning me. You guys are great. I'm going to take a break. Before they start Man. doing this, if if they start doing this, I want to take another pill to be safe. I'm just going to motion the man fang to stick his hand in and touch one of the jellyfish. All right, fine. Do you take the do you take the pill first or touch one of the jellyfish? So I take stupid. the pill first. I take the so D twenty and a D ten. It's not a poke. It's a tap. It's like a tap or a stroke. Hold sure. D twenty and a D ten for me, please. All right. Thirteen. Uh, and that's a ten. So that's twenty three. Both together. Gotcha. Uh, Haggis, you did not take another pill yet? I did not. And Maybe. Felix, you did not. And Leaf, no. you did not. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you reach out and the soft translucent globe, go ahead and hit it for me. All right. Um, what do I do? What do I roll to tap? Strength. All right, so... That's 17, so that's... Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you you gently glide a finger across it. Now give me a constitution save. Uh, <laughs> guys, <I'm sorry. laughs> so, guys, my finger hurts. Smell my finger. See if it... I'm not smelling your finger. Oh, hell no. You sound like a Felix now. And do I just roll die 20? Yep. And add your constitution modifier. Ooh. That's a 26. Uh, you feel a little static electricity and draw your hand back real quickly. This, however, does gather the attention of the head blob. About 10 of them. 
Oh. oh. They're going to gather around me and just like a lightning bolt strike me. That's not good. Yeah, I'm That's going not to, good. to back, get away. Yeah, from I agree. Him. I'm going to kind of swim a little bit away from Manfang now. Yeah. I'm going to swim <laughs> towards them as fast as I can. Towards your compadres, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Uh, <clears throat> you notice that these creatures do not leave the azure water. Okay. Perfect. We're safe. No. Can we I sneak start... past them to go more down? Yeah, we need to start finding this tribute. We're running out of time here. Yeah. Not me. I have a lot more time because I took another pill. So I'm going to... So around could I sneak collection. past them and go down? Sure. Yeah. Okay, they seem 20 to stay four. on the same level. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm going to follow Crap's name there. So 24, uh, I go down. I, below. How, how many feet in... Uh, Groups of five feet, do you want to swim farther down? Six. As much as possible. Yeah, I think we need I'd to get to the six. bottom. Yeah. Right? So we go down about another 30 feet. Until I see anything, let's, at least. Let's go all the way down. I think feet? we should throw Copious in it. Oh, Copious is already oh, dead. That is a great idea. Remember, you got the poison tentacle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he he, had, he, had, he made with the whale. Into that. Thank somebody, you much. somebody, go ahead and catch up copious as to what's going on. Um, yes. so, oh, oh, you'll you want to hear this. <laughs> I'll explain, I guess. So we got Medusa, right? <laughs> no Medusa. We're pill poppers. We really it's, are. Uh, sunset. We've made our way to shore in the skip. The boat a is kind of parked after the out whale. In- Oh, after the whale. He made it with the whale. <laughs> the whale hit the boat, and it was giving us the bedroom eyes, but we were able to push it away, <laughs> and we made it to the shore. <laughs> and so oh, we God. then decided to pop the pills that allow us to swim underwater. Manfang has so far taken two of them. The rest of us have all taken one. And we're underwater encountering jellyfish that Manfang oh, just God, I need to touched. And it was like static electricity when he touched it, but no ill effects from what we can tell. It got the attention of other jellyfish. So Crabstain and I are swimming a little bit deeper into the blue hole. The jellyfish are staying there. There's a cylinder of azure water, and they're staying within the confines of that. I, I've seen Finding Nemo, so I get the jellyfish thing. And yep. taking two of those pills, you need to look up the term priapism, uh, man fang, because that's that's what you have now. <laughs> oh, I'll look it up right now, actually. Hey, He'll be buddy. able to steer better. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> that's that's brother. Let's this, look this up on Google. Were you told how long these pills would last? How do you say that? How do you spell that? We don't know how Are long it's going to last. Yeah. So, Copious, you've taken one. Everybody has rolled a D20 and a D10 every time they've taken a pill. Uh, your roll was 29, which was above average. Uh, but none of you know what that is. A few minutes ago, Manfang, Felix, and Haggis uh, had a little gastric distress, and Manfang panicked and popped his second pill. <laughs> so I looked up priapism. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> So that, that is where you are at now. Uh, Haggis, in you. Haggis wants to go 30 feet down and then into the blue eye, correct? Yeah, we need to go down to where the, where the treasure is. There's no sense in floating around halfway. Yeah, let's uh, dive. Dive. Dive, 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 dive. Uh, the deeper you go into the azure pit, uh, the dimmer the light becomes. Ahead of you uh, is a disturbance in the form of some kind of uh plant life now uh, we hear morgan freeman say in the background this is called the twilight zone <laughs> no you hear him say these guys were going to be rich but that didn't happen <laughs> oh. uh so you notice that it's not quite seaweed it's more mushroomy and it appears to have a floor that you can kind of land on everybody give me a perception check I got good perception. Oh, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a 17. That's a 13 16. from me. That's a 13. Everybody above a 16? 
gold gems. Uh, you can't really see the bag because it'll blend in with the mushroom, but some of the bags appear to have opened and there appears to be loose treasure on this, uh, call it a, uh, uh, what do you have at a kid's party? The junk bouncy house? The, yeah, the bouncy the Venus house. Fly trap. <laughs> so you've got this bouncy house of aquatic mushrooms and you have treasure. Oh, I think we should grab some it. of the mushrooms. Like just to... See how the <laughs> you go do that. You go take those. Somebody mushrooms. said Venus fly trap, and that's all my mind can think of now. Yeah, that was me. I'm taking. I'm taking a knife, and I'm just gonna cut the smallest one off and put it in my pouch. Sure, that works. Not that, that I don't trust Frank. Or anything, I don't trust Frank. And then um, maybe we should split off so we cover more ground of the gold. Maybe um, that's a good idea. So <laughs> it, that never goes wrong. <laughs> Well, if it's as big as this circle, I assume, the black pit. So if someone goes uh, south, north, east, and west, we could. Why, why don't we do a buddy system in case one of us, all you know, your, all of your stuff evaporates in your system and you start drowning? Well, who had, let's all I take. I don't want to be with Man Thing. <laughs> why not i'm basically a giant shield. why don't we all give each other the the pills not take Are but you... to have in case anything happens each one of you has two man fang yep. has zero all of you have oh. one and that's why i don't want to do that <laughs> kind of well, right. for that. And, and don't don't forget if something happens i can still cast a spell on everybody i want to go with leaf all right, man fang goes with leaf. <laughs> I, I want to see, I want to take another look at the, the bags that have opened up in the ground itself. Does it look like any of this stuff is slowly being uh, absorbed into the, the, the floor, or is it all sitting clearly on top so I can lift it off? The mushroom itself are several mushrooms, so they kind of overlap. So upon your initial inspection, you notice that some of the coins have rolled off, rolled down, rolled down and would be found deeper on the sea floor. So co copious, copious. When we're underwater, we can move more agilely, so the actual water has no effect. So I say we take our blades and we start slashing mushrooms, so we can... That's a fantastic out. idea. I'm picking up what's loose on the surface, and then I'm going to try to look down through the mushrooms and see if the sea floor is really underneath them. Huh. Or if this is like 40,000 feet deep. and It's very deep. Everybody roll initiative. Yeah, I knew it. Damn, I knew it. Oh, 11. Uh, uh, 11. 11. 11. 7. 18. Pretty bad rolls. And Manfang? 11. Uh, I rolled a 6, so oh everybody beat me. Uh, there is a disturbance in the wave pattern as if the water is being moved around and each of you will go ahead and look up and there are creatures headed right for you. Uh, are, they, are they glowing like the balls that we saw earlier? They kind of look like angry mermen, but they aren't human. Uh, they're, they're like more, the top half is a fish and the bottom half is a person. Bottom half, of the, bottom half is a fish, the top half is more of an avatar. So one might say minion of Lear, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with the 18. That's Leaf. Uh, you can talk to them if you want to try. That, yeah, that sounds cool. You talk to mermaids. How many are there? Uh, there are four. They could take us to their mermaid treasures. Mm -hmm. No, they're so here to answer episode episode of what I did to their mer wives. Well, there's, I don't know how in the hell I talk to them. I can. It's like that one episode of Futurama. Exactly. Plus Atlantis. Common. Yeah. And they survived off of Coca Cola for years. Um, it's the lost city of Atlanta. Yeah. The <laughs> airport. It was just, airport. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just the airport. In, in the ocean of Fulton. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do, Leaf? They, these considered animals? Uh, they would not be. I look at them more as Aquaman, Aqua Woman. Uh, they need to. They are armed them. in shell armor and are carrying spears. Trident. Nope, spear? no tridents. Uh, oh, it's a harp. 
Never mind. It's a harpoon. <laughs> I forgot I put that in there. <laughs> it's probably just a regular harpoon is what I'm saying. <laughs> that sounds really Thousand cool. The deadliest poison of the seventh sea. So, Leaf, you're up first. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking. How close are they? Uh, they are about 30 feet away. So 30 the feet away? Is out the window already. I can feel it coming. I'm going to... Uh, Hey, before you say anything, the one that they are not going after is you. Okay. So there's one going towards Manfang, one going towards Felix, one to Haggis, and one to Copius. They sense your immense leadership skills and want to keep you for prisoner. They're also yeah, wearing turtles, right. turtle shells. They make for last. I'm going to... I'm going to hold off on doing anything right at the second. Sure. Uh, Haggis and Copius, uh, the two Aqua individuals coming after you are clearly female. Uh, Manfang and Felix, dudes. Uh, Leaf holds his action. That means the three elevens. So Manfang, Felix, and Copius. You have three individuals. Uh, <laughs> You had the seven? I had the seven. Oh, so it's Haggis. I reversed it. Haggis, Felix, and Manfang had 11s. Gotcha. Okay, so you three, uh, let's let's see. Manfang, uh, your guy's ready in a harpoon. Okay, so he wants to fight. Felix, no. yours has a net. Haggis, yours has a net. And Copius, yours has a harpoon. I my my wait my turtle shell is on my front right. Mm. Let me diplomacy. Right, so on my front. Diplomat so before we run. kill. You're gonna please. attempt diplomacy. Yes, please. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful idea. Well? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I I trust my persuasion. Um, I, the, the female, I perform a aquatic yes, dance that, of perform. love and very of seduction. Are you trying With to use the, the language of love? Plus five decks, baby. <laughs> yeah. Master of With the power of dexterity and da, 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 love. Da, 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 da. What was performing. it by the power? Like, <laughs> or a he man held the sword up? What did he say? I forget. The mating the dance of, of gray mermaids. Skull. By the uh, power of gray skull. You guys know you can <laughs> outswim these fools, right? Oh. Uh, I, I take a pill. Uh, can, can I do that before I do my Sure, dance? give me a 20 and a 10. Yeah, fair. You're taking another sure. pill? Yeah. You're burning point. off the pill, the second pill? You probably oh, yeah. Yeah. Burn yeah. them off. Jesus. So, um, Listen, those things weren't free, you know. That's a 30. Very nice. Like an actual... That's cool. Yeah, very good. Over. That, that, that's got to be good, right? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that, that's got to be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I still um, essentially... Look at the mermaid, the female one, coming towards me with that, <laughs> and um, use your bedroom eyes on her. Yeah, sure. Give Wait. me a performance roll. That's one way. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Night. Hey, lady. Now, some of you are probably too young to remember what sea monkeys look like, but that's what these are. <laughs> uh, I remember them. I don't know what that is, but I got twenty-three. Okay, very good. I'm sure you're charming the crap out of her. Probably literally, because that's the only thing sea monkeys did was crap. Uh, the other 11s, Manfang and Felix. What they were some kind of shrimp, weren't they? Yes. Brian they have shrimp. big eyes. Brian shrimp, yeah. Can I swim towards Leaf and hide behind them if they think? Sure you can. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm going to attempt diplomacy as well. If they seem, wait, do they seem aggressive? Are they... Yes, ready any weapons oh, I see. Going after the guy. Well, for Copius and you, they're ready in harpoons. Yeah, yeah never mind. No diplomacy here. Do when they get within underwater. 15 feet, oh, I want to arrows cast. work underwater. Oh. How, why would you? No. It doesn't. No. Do, wow. So arrows will work underwater? No. It's not the Give yeah. it a shot. The law of nature does not allow that. I'm just saying. You can't I'm going to give it a shot. A harpoon works underwater. Why the hell not? Because it's a harpoon. They're only 30 it's feet away. It's I think what will happen... Do you, have a, do you have a crossbow? An arrow will catch your arrow and shove it at somebody else. Yeah. I'm shooting an arrow. 
I don't care. I'm not it's, gonna, all right. Leroy oh, Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to explain to uh, on how it won't work. But it won't. Uh, <laughs> all, almost. Almost it rebounds off the male's shell breastplate. So you hit him, but you didn't pierce the shell. Uh, so okay. uh, it's close. Uh, Man Fang, you were swimming towards Leaf. Yeah, uh, I don't know if they think he's peaceful or something, so I'm going to get with him. Sure. Uh, Copious, that leaves you before they go. I am going to cast Shadow Armor, and then I'm going to use Eldritch Blast at the one coming at me. Okay. So two beams coming at it. Uh, and with 18... 18 hits. Actually, oh, it was even more than 18. All right. Uh, wow, it's been a while since I casted this. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want... Uh, let's see. Damage for the first beam was... Dun, dun, dun. Seven. And damage for the second beam was nine. So 16 points 16. total. Nice. Uh, both connect and both seem to hit their mark. So copious hug. She just shrugged it off. Felix. No, it it definitely pissed him off. Great. <laughs> what do I uh, the two harpoons. Uh, one will be at Felix, one will be at Copious. Felix. 13 plus. <laughs> You were hoping it was just 13, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I thought he was 13. Uh, nope. Plus 6, 19. Oh, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, plus 8. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't hit now. Uh, copious 16 total. No. Okay, uh, give me a wisdom save, Felix. Uh-oh. Oh, 21. Uh, it stings, and as it's sticking into you, it disappears, and you see your opponent have it back in his arm. <laughs> uh, that is the end of round one. Uh, Leaf, they... Oh, I'm sorry. That's just you guys. Leaf, they have not closed to okay. the 15-foot the mark, uh, although the other two will be in 15 feet Next, spinning a hooked net. Uh, top of the order, Leaf will go first. If they're within 15 now? Yeah, we'll go ahead and put them with 15 now. There's two of them. One going after Haggis. Right, one I'm going cast. after you or Manfang. You aren't sure yet. I'm casting Thunder Wave, and that's a natural 20. Um, Not that give I didn't give me a wisdom check. <laughs> Okay. Hey, what's explosions do underwater? It's going to make us all have to take a breath. <laughs> uh, that's a 20. Dirty. Uh, that thunder wave is going to spread out. Just so you know. We were trying to be sneaky. Like, you know. Okay. Uh, that, that ship's safe. But since nobody is closed within melee distance, you can probably get away with it. Uh, everybody but you and Manfang, since he's hiding behind you, will have to roll a straight up 20. One or a two means they're caught in the undulating waters. Okay. So if you want to do that, I, I'm good with that. I just wanted to give you that. I'm doing it because I don't know that it's going to do that. So I will I will still cast the spell. Okay. Uh, Felix, Copius, Haggis, straight up D20. I'm not using that red one again. That was bad luck. 16. 8. 14. Uh, your colleagues are not going to be affected. Uh, do they get a save? Con. Is that con off my modifier? Or? Mm -hmm. And they get... That's 16. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, fail. 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 <laughs> All four failed with plus four to con. Okay. That's uh, three the, die eight. The pulse wave hits them pretty hard. Go ahead. 
Wait, didn't you roll a natural 20? Yeah. Yeah, natural 20 uh, damage, damage modifier, even for spells. Uh, eight, that's 18 the first time. I probably ain't going to do any better than that. No, second one's bad. So 18. You want me to roll for each one of these guys? No, you roll, you roll damage. Yeah. You roll damage, and then you put in your modifier. Oh, so added damage twice? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, then that's... Hang on, I gotta get my pencil. 18 plus... 7. Uh, 25. That's 25. My modifier, spell modifier, is 16. Is that... No. Not that one? Okay. Nope. 25, 25, and 16 to copiouses. Not is it up to 41. Uh, the three 11s. I assume that I was not affected by that shit storm. I'm going to fire another arrow because why not? <laughs> <laughs> but after that, it's like throwing breadcrumbs at these people. Uh, well, that's the incredible Mr. Limpet over there with the spell yeah. casting. So 18 without modifiers. It's well, Gandalf now. Uh, eight damaged. Thirty-three total. Okay. Uh, Man Fang and Haggis. Um, so, I uh, am going to. I guess I'll shoot my longbow <laughs> right over top of Leaf. I'm just kidding. Damn. Right through Leaf. <laughs> I'm gonna put, just do it right between his legs. No, you ain't. <laughs> ha, ha, have him, have him hold Hell the arrow no. right here. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot an arrow at which. He'll do this, and you can just shoot it right through his fingers to keep it even. Yeah. Which one is closest to us? Net. Uh, Net yours and net. net. I'll shoot it then. Well, she was. She got should have. If they failed that, then they get pushed ten feet. Did they push with that spread out or not? Uh, no. It so she will, should be ten feet away. Yeah. It and they are going to be swimming back at you. But go ahead, uh, man. Fang. Um, oh, man. Fang. Big number. Big number. That is um, no whammies. Seven. Seventeen. That hits. All right. Easy to hit. Hard to kill. Die. This is a die eight, right? The one that kind of looks like two triangles stuck together? Yes, that's it. That is a six plus one, which is seven. And I think that's just seven damage, right? 32 total. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Haggis? <clears throat> so, um... The the two ones with harpoons. Do the harpoons look the same? Mm -hmm. And which one is like closest to one of my allies? Because I'm closest to a net, but which one is closest to one of my? Probably, uh, probably man fang. So if so yeah, if the, man fang. So I want the I want I'm gonna go after the harpoon guy that's ne closest to Manfang. Okay. Okay, but um, he doesn't know I'm present, right? Oh yeah, they see all four. They see all five of you, but there's only four, and that's why they didn't go after Leaf. So do you think I could sneak attack him? Uh, he is currently engaged. But so if yes. I go the other direction, just to no, you he is currently engaged. You'll get your sneak attack. Okay, then I am going to sneak attack. Because he just got shot in the face with a longbow. 1D, 1D, 6. <laughs> and he's still I, have, I, have real, okay. I have real, like, good... So, with good short... When it comes to shooting people in their eyes. Short sword and dagger, I'm going to sneak attack him. Oh, you're... Okay, you're using martial weapons on him. Yeah, uh, that is going to give an opportunity of attack from your guy. Okay. You can still okay. do it or you can refrain. 
I'll I'll still do the sneak attack. Does that mean I get to attack twice with sneak attack on him, or is that just bonus? Sneak attack only counts once. Okay. Then what did it like more damage or something? It's the first one. The first attack always does the sneak attack damage. Because after you get poked, you know they're there. Okay. So if you miss on the first one, your sneak attack's out the window. Okay. So I'm gonna sneak attack him right now. Sure. Okay. Eighteen. Hits. Okay. And then roll for damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then roll your second attack. So that's a five. That's a three. Plus eight. 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 Nicholas, you know you're doing three. That's thirteen. Yeah, I know. I know the two dice. This one's. No, no, you're at three dice six for sneak attack because you're fifth level, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's three dice six plus your weapon damage plus your. It's plus eight, so five. So that's 13 for the short dagger, but then I also count the dagger, right? You count the dagger as a regular attack, not as a sneak attack. Okay, then 11. To hit or damage? Damage for the other one. The first one was 13. Got it. Okay. Uh, let's do your sneak attack for, or your attack of opportunity first. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, 17. On me? Yep. I have 18, so no. Okay. Uh, so the net uh, floats away after failing to hit you with it. Okay. Uh, Felix... You gone or no? I think I went, yeah. Okay, Manfang's gone, Haggis is gone. Copious, your turn. Uh, is she engaged in melee level or is she still far back at, at this point? Uh, no, they're about 15 feet away, so I'll give you melee. Uh, I'll go ahead and use Eldritch Blast again. Mm -hmm. So hit both beams hitting her. I missed. Ooh, uh, okay. I've switched to Harpoon on Haggis since I threw my net away. The other net is on Manfang. One through three is going at Manfang. Four, it goes at Leaf. Four, it's going to go at Leaf. So, Manfangs. Whew, that net is in the breeze. Uh, Felix, Harpoon time. Two on the roll. That ain't going to hit. Haggis. Harpoon. Five on the roll. We'll be switching to Big Red. <laughs> Just in time for Copious. Uh, that's only an eight, so that's a 16. Plus eight, and I can't hit any of you guys. Uh, round three. Everybody roll D20 before we do anything in round three. Remember, I took two pills. Yep. 14. 14. Eight. Natural 20. Felix and Copious. <clears throat> you think you're okay? <laughs> uh -oh. I think I'm okay or I know I'm okay. Well, you're still breathing. <laughs> I guess I know I'm okay. You know, that, there's a toxicity in the depth of the water uh, coagulated with the temperature change, uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh -oh. I'm talking out my ass, but uh, both of you start to choke a little bit, uh, but you, you're still breathing. <laughs> how, how deep are we at this point? You are 45 feet below the surface. Oh, so, Leaf, you're leading the way with the 18. Our ears must be popping, oh, right? Yeah. It's pretty. You forgot to get gum. A lot of pressure. Under pressure. Um, dun, 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 dun. Sorry, trying to figure out what will work underwater. How about a fire spell? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, Thunder Wave worked really well. Yeah, yeah it did. Wow. It did. Try an explosion. See how that works. I have acid splash, but I don't know if that would do anything underwater because it's just more water being, yeah. 
What if I if I go if I go underneath them, at, the acid would rise because it's different levels of volume and different of the water. You but, want to risk your party's livelihood on that guess? <laughs> no, <laughs> baby. I mean, I can be <laughs> I can to acid, so I will be fine. It's I'll so go hard. ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and 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 attack. I guess. Okay. Uh, same one that Manfang's been targeted with. Yeah, the, mo the most injured one. Uh, Seventeen hits. Yeah, I don't do much damage though. Where's that murder hobo mamas? That's a five and a one, six or uh, two. I can bring up a pair of our hobo dice. Points. I think I got some. Translucent blood emits from a gashing wound at Aquaman. Starts to float. One down. Uh, the 11s, Manfang, Felix, and Copius. So which one is down? The one is dead. Well, the, the, one, the Manfang slash leaf one is down. So did that one have a net or a harpoon? Uh, that one oh, had that one. the net. Oh. Or no, that one had the harpoon. It still has a net attached to its hip. So is like the harpoon on its back while it's dead there floating? I stand corrected. It uh, it was using the net. Yeah, it was using the net. Okay. But, but it threw it away, so it only has the harpoon. There, anybody who used the net has already missed uh, because my rolls are shit tonight. So okay. all all three of them left are armed with a harpoon. Uh, Man Fang's Aquaman has dropped his harpoon and it is sinking. Could I get that harpoon? I would like to go get that harpoon. I would like to swim get that harpoon it. first. I would like to get it first. So. You both swim towards the harpoon. Roll a d12. High roll gets the harpoon. I roll. Come on. Just, you guys are fleeing in the middle of combat. There's still three live combatants. What is that? Such a Felix move. Nine. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, Man, Man Fang reaches it first. Haggis, you have left battle. That's an opportunity <laughs> attack. Jesus Christ. This is not a part of my plan. No. <laughs> I cannot hit you guys. Uh, That's good. That's good. And Fang and Haggis have left the battle. Felix, uh, you've got an 11. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to fire another arrow. Okay. Is 15 high enough to hit? Uh, 15 is not. It rings off the shell armor as well. And copious. All right. Eldritch Blast. Both beams, same person. Natural 20 and a 19. Yeah, that's going to probably finish him off, but you go ahead and roll your damage. All right, so I'll roll the 20 first. Uh, <clears throat> so that was 13 points. Still alive. All right, one more. And the second one's 11 points. That's enough. Uh, hey, another harpoon's floating away. I'll grab it since I'm right there. <laughs> De Dex check, see if you grab it. Uh, 20. Yep, you got it. 30, 20, 20. Uh, there are two left, one on Haggis, one on Felix. Haggis, even though I missed, one, 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 the harpoon returns uh, on Haggis. Nat 20, there you go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> on Felix, Ow. 14 plus 8. So, yeah. got both of you. Uh, both of you roll a wisdom save for me. Oops. Dirty 20. Seventeen. Both of you save. Both of you still take 14 hit points of piercing damage and one -na 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 -na, the harpoon returns to their hand. Round Five. I think I'm going to go after the one going after me. Everybody roll the 20. 17. 13. 18. Oh, four. Copious. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Man Fang. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 
Uh, but you're still breathing. Uh, Leaf, you're in control. Yeah. Ish. Am I close to anything? Nope. Oh, I didn't matter. I swim. I swim yes. like a fish. Man Fang's out and Copious is out. So Felix. Uh, whichever and one's closest. Whichever uh, one's closest to me, I'm gonna take a swat at his back. Felix. Uh, sixteen. Oh, uh, plus. 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 Four. Uh, four. Yeah. Twenty. Dirty. Yep. Keep forget that attack bonus. Come on, hobo. Come on, hobo. Uh, four and two six. So twelve. Four two What's six. Four, how much damage? Six points. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, four two. Four, okay. Yeah, okay. I, four I, I, I got two. You. I'm sorry. Okay, I got you. Uh, Manfang Haggis, uh, you two are out of position. You guys will both be facing off with Haggis's. Felix, uh, you still got yours. So, however you want to handle it. Uh, right. I'm going to shoot another arrow, but I missed. Okay. Haggis and Manfang. I'm going to kill that one that I did major. Uh, I'm going to use my new harpoon. Have you ever used a harpoon? Never. Let, let me attack. Just no, let I'm me. not going to throw it. I'm just going to charge it and stab it. So use it as a spear. Yeah, like a spear. because I don't. Wise know. choice. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I throw it, I know I'm going to throw it and it's going to and then whang back to him. Uh, so uh, each of you attack. Boy, you better not mess that roll. What, what, would I add to, what would I add to use this or just straight up by 20? Uh, if if you're using it with both hands, you'd use strength. If you throw it, you'll use dexterity. I will use strength because I am no master of dexterity. Ooh, that's a 25. Ooh. Thank that, God. <laughs> you both hit. 14. Uh, the uh, item does 1d8 for you. Plus strength bonus? Uh, plus his strength. He doesn't get Back. the necrotic damage. That is an 8. 8. Got it. And Haggis? 14? I think, it was, I think it's 18 because I added the the, 18 the die. for damage? The, yeah, because okay. I added the die four. Gotcha. Still alive. Copious, you're up. Uh, you can go after Haggis's or Felix's. Uh, is one more visibly wounded than the other? Uh, Haggis's <sighs> doesn't look that great. I'll split the beams then. One beam to Haggis, one beam to Felix. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, if he rolls a one, that's what will happen to him. Uh, 16 for the one on Felix. The other uh, No. They 17, both missed 17 your magic number. They both missed them. You both missed. Oh, why? Uh, uh, odd even, odd man fell. Two, Haggis and Felix. Haggis. Don't nice. forget me. Uh, no, they. Those two were the last to attack it, so okay. Uh, 19 plus 8, Haggis, so that hit you. <laughs> 16 plus 8, Felix, that'll hit you. Both of you go ahead and give me your wisdom saves again, and both of you take nine hit points. Now, can I use the uncanny dodge and have that damage? Uh, because I meant of the to have Speed of the pills, I will give that to you. I meant to ask that last time. Uh, my uh, wisdom save was a 10. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> uh, you can take uh, your uncanny dodge for half the damage. Hoggis, what was your wisdom save? 16. Uh, you're okay. Felix, I think the party members are trying to kill you. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, no. Uh, plainly, oh, shit. plainly, two, Manfang is coming after you. 
after me. Yeah. Yeah. You have the bends from being underwater. Oh, in your brain, buddy. Round six. Leave. Damn. I'm on head again. Ocean madness. Ocean madness. <laughs> Ocean madness. Uh, 17. 17 hits. It's that sea gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Show oh, that's what that tingling was. Um, six points again. I thought it was the Which one were you going after? Uh, whichever one I, I hit the last time, I was right next to it. <laughs> It was Felix's. It was Felix's. So six. Yeah, I'd love to use my flame blade. I just not going to bother trying. <laughs> Probably wise choice. Fire underwater. Yeah. Uh, the the elevens, Manfang and Haggis, you're still on yours, and Felix, uh, you're still on yours. Kill it. But Felix, Manfang is trying to kill you. Right, but isn't Manfang still far below me because he was going for that harpoon or whatever the hell? He's about 30 feet away, and he's got one of those harpoons. Uh-huh. You know those uh-huh. things will return. Oh, no. Uh, uh, we'll go with no. uh, Manfang and Haggis to start this mess. I'm going to do a Jedi mind trick in, on Felix. And oh, then hell yeah, I'm going after him. Yeah, I thought <laughs> <it's> intelligence. <laughs> when I see him doing this Jedi mind trick. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> See, I told you, you didn't believe In the dark side. Oh, no way. You missed me with that shit. Uh, yeah, 19 to hit. Oh, wait, no. 19 plus 3. 22 to hit. Yeah, you oh, no, no, wait, no. You turn yourself into a torpedo and charge directly at him. I will uh, use my turtle. Five damage. Full damage because no halvesies because you want to hit him. So oh five, yes, I do. He's five damage there, Jedi Obi Wan. Wait, can uh, I like deflect it with my shield chest? Uh, you mean the thing on your back? <laughs> oh, my chest. <laughs> I thought it was still on my chest. Yeah, I thought I thought I still had it on the front because I put it on. Do, the- do you want to swim like this? <laughs> no, fine. I'll quickly turn around and hit it. You are aware of how these noodles, the pool noodles go, right? To go ahead and keep you buoyant as opposed to that way. <laughs> yeah, I just want to breathe water. Uh, so Felix has hit Manfang, Manfang and Haggis, you're up. I'm going to kill the harpoon. The, the, um, Manfang? Fish. Manfang? Yes, yes turn harpoon. me, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I think Felix would like it if I, he would feel more trustworthy than me if I went after Manfang. Sure. I'm going to kill the sea creature. Okay. 19. That hits. Oops. 13 damage. Ouch. Uh, that is enough. She starts to drift aimlessly away. I take the spear. I, I, I Harpoon. I take it now. Dexterity. Oh, <laughs> why, do we need to, why do we need to even ask such a question? He's the master. Twenty-three. He is the master. <laughs> yeah, like, the can master. I just can I search it? Like you know, look around her body a little bit just to get other things. Sure, her, 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 her. <laughs> Are they all dead? <laughs> you're, you're, Frank, that took a good touch. Still one left. You're, you're on a left. list somewhere, aren't you, Nicholas? <laughs> <laughs> you should look at it. All right. Well, uh, Man, Manfang has to go yet uh, after getting attacked by Felix. Yeah. So it's me. All right. Felix openly assaulted you. Yeah, Can't don't do you have a harpoon? There's witnesses everywhere. We saw it. <laughs> He's trying to shoot me with that harpoon. You guys saw it. <laughs> His That's hands, not right? What he said. This is what I say. Hey, Felix, right. harpoons don't shoot. Oh, they don't? No. Oh. I'm thinking of a harpoon gun. This whole yeah. time I've been thinking of a harpoon, harpoon gun. gun. They shoot oh. harpoons. Harpoons are the oh, end. Fool. So, what do you want to do, man? There's one blithering buffoon. Grapple him, man, Fang. Grapple him. All right. What do you mean by grapple? Tackle him. You say. Yeah. Do I He's, like like tackle him like this? Like with you the, have to roll to grab his ass. Can Fine, we all can we all see Felix openly attacking Manfang? Yeah, I think so. 
All right, why don't we, why don't we grab? Why don't we grab a net? He's gone. Why don't we? Bl- 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 uh, oh, Man, Man Fang will roll a d20 in his strength. Felix will also roll a d20 in his strength to see if he can break the grapple. Come on, little man. Roll with me. That and if Man Fang chokes, you get another opportunity. That would be a dirty 20. Mm, 14. You are bear hugged for this round. Copious, uh, your party's gone to hell in a handbasket again. There's still one of these uh, Aquaman. Two beams going at the Aquaman. Sure. Uh, 21 and 14. So the 21 hit. One hit, one fail. Seven points of damage. Only 54. Uh, the harpoon guy will go after. As soon as I find my D10. Four. One, two, three, four. Man Fang. If I hit you, you'll yeah. have to make a. Thank a God he's got a human one. shield. Yeah. Uh, 10 plus 8, 18. Uh, that is exactly at my armor class. So, so now hit? roll a d20. Wait a minute. Does your armor class include yeah. your shell? It does. That's why, I put, that's why I put it on because it makes it 18. Okay. Otherwise, he's 17, I think. Do I add anything or just so, straight roll? Straight roll. So that would be 16. You still maintain your grip on Felix. Now roll your con save. Or I'm sorry, wisdom save. Oops. Cool. Big number. So I got to roll for wisdom now? Yep. Uh, of course I do. You and you're taking eight eight hit plus points. 20. Just kidding. Plus or minus 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think his wisdom's in a average batch. It's that damn intelligence. That book says all. I, I don't Wait, think do I have minus on my... No, it's just wisdom. So that's a 10? You know what? Oh. Does my bear hug turn to a normal hug? Copious told Felix to attack you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you um, say that? I'm going to let go of Felix and charge it, Kobe. Oh, my God. Round is <laughs> seven. Leaf. There's only one left. Yeah, I'm going after it. Uh, uh, 17. Hits. I get a plus four. All you need is four hit points. Uh, now I got five. Three and two. Oh, way to cut it close. Uh, we got another yeah. floater in the water. Man Fang and Felix, re-roll your wisdom. Come on, Man Fang. Oh, I got and, wisdom? And before 16. anybody else gets any bright ideas, I'm grabbing the harpoon. That's 16. Uh, 16, okay. Man Do I got to roll for wisdom now? Yep. Yes. And Leaf, you have to roll for dexterity to catch it. Okay. That is 14. Uh, both of you uh-huh. shake off the fog. 15 on my right. next rule. You catch I, the harpoon. Do I still have my harpoon? I just want to check that because I want to keep this harpoon. Yeah, you were choking uh, Felix out with it. Oh, Felix yeah. So what size are these things? Uh, uh, they're about three and a half feet tall, barbed end on one side, and a strange gem on the butt end of it. Oh, no, I meant the, I meant the sea creatures. Not the uh, they're, they're man-sized. I'm going to take the armor off this one and search it. You said shell armor? Shell armor. Wait, my set. Clam shell armor. Yeah, I can wear clam shell armor. Uh, huh. Yeah, they're uh, a bluish green body, but uh, they have no other wealth. No. Is nothing. it like, is it like, what kind of armor? Like plate, sh- like, plate yeah. Scale. I'm curious about the armor as well. Scale. I think it'd be scale armor. What would that be considered? Uh, is it 14. 14. Yeah. High dexterity. Well, I'm going to take the armor better. off of the female mermaid anyway. And just <laughs> Are you going to use it as a cup? <laughs> he just wants to be on using the armor at all. It'd be too big to be a cup. I am going to take the net too. Uh, the nets have all fallen, so you'll have to go oh. fetch. D12 against me to see if one landed on the mushroom. 
a little leery of these damn mushrooms. Uh, eight. Three. Uh, yeah, one of the nets uh, seems to have a barbed hook in on the mushroom where Hog has cut it, and it is uh, just kind of floating, stuck on the mushroom. I'm going to go ahead and snatch that one up and stow it. I wouldn't use that terminology because there are a lot of hooks on this thing. <laughs> so okay. give me a dex I'm check. carefully <laughs> unhook it. Yeah, give me a dex check. One or two means... Uh, uh, this will be the one that threw up. A mess. Uh, 18. Okay, you use enough caution to go ahead and get it. You notice that in the very center of the net is a weight. Uh, piece of coral or something. So if you grab it like that, that is how they would throw it and it would expand. Uh, clearly, you do not have a proficiency in net, so don't expect to use it very well. Everybody... I think we... I'm going to leave it. Okay. Everybody roll perception check. 23. Uh, 13. Ooh, 24. 17, 8, 25. <clears throat> I got to find the light. And Haggis? Oh, God. Hi, Rosie. You doing, kitty? I had 20, right? 14. Uh, everybody roll a percentage. Oh boy, that, that's um, that's this one, right? The, the, the ten side, the, the, the ten twice. Yeah, that's it, Frankie. Two, two. <laughs> Is that what Jason just said? Two, seventy-eight. <laughs> two dice. Seventy oh, percentage check. Two ten yeah. high dice. Your result is the number of net worth you can scrape off the seventy. Mushroom. Okay. I also got seventy. So, if the second so, seventy. Five, so whatever that number is is the straight like gold piece equivalent. Correct. Well, yeah. uh, that did not make this jaunt to the bottom of the sea worth it at all. I got no. a ninety and a forty. We're not down to where it's at, dude. This is just what's laying on these damn mushrooms. Actually, uh, Copius, you realize that there is no way this is the treasure. Uh, there are not nearly enough bags. Uh, everybody saw the wagon except for Haggis and Manfang. You three know that ain't it. Uh, I'll, take another, I'll take another investigation check, please. Investigation? Yep. That is a plus two. Oh, uh, 14 to 16. 13. 18. Give me a second. That is a two. <laughs> it was a five, but then it turned into a two. Haggis, uh, you were very happy at the amount of coins that you found, and as you show off your haul, you notice... There's darkness over there up against the cliff face. It's almost like it's a cave entrance. I don't think we have enough. Everybody roll a d20 again, please. I don't think we have enough. We're out of pills. Oh, us. No, no, we are not out of pills. Nine. Uh, that's a three. Or eight. All of you... Uh, Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the three uh, really oh, not feeling it. Who was uh, the three? I am man thing. The, I think the natural I think 20 had a gold of bear, too. Natural 20 is fine. You are fine. Oh, okay. I think we should head back to the boat. We all got harpoons. I think it's pretty fair. I think um, we all pretty good. Now, let's go check out the cave. Wait a second. You guys all got harpoons? I got harpoons. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I meant uh, mushrooms. We all got mushrooms. Did you not get mushroom? We all got mushrooms. <laughs> oh, no, I got some gold. As he, as he stuffed <laughs> his harpoon in his back. <laughs> we all got mushrooms. What are you talking about? Am I the only one that didn't get a harpoon? <laughs> yes. Well, I didn't even know. Not that I would have even known how to use it. I thought it was a gun. Only all the cool guys have harpoons. Let's, uh, uh, yeah, let's go back to the cave. Wait, did Haggis point out to us there's a cave or not? No. Because none of us noticed it. So if he doesn't tell us, then we're we're like, hell, there's nothing else here. Uh, I'm going to say that there's they dumped a hell of a lot more than this. It's got to be around here somewhere. 
we need to look around a little bit. Cut holes in the mushroom floor. That's all that I can think of. Because I didn't see anything else. Let's do it. And he apparently did didn't we, see anything else. Did we fully search those dead mermaids? Yes. Yeah. No mermaid daggers or anything? Yeah, you spent an inordinate amount of time on the female mermaid. Yeah, I was just making sure that all cavities were completely... <laughs> Where did the creepy You're old... You're a dentist? <laughs> a kind of dentist, yeah. Uh, where, where did the old man touch you? You point on the dog. You know, he's always carping about something. Ah. Felix bad touched the great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Felix the bad touch. So, Haggis, uh, you're Let's the only look, one that spotted around. this cave, and these guys are all looking around for more treasure. The only other option is to go deeper. How big is this cave? Uh, the cave opening itself looks to be about eight feet tall. Okay. okay. Are you just going to let them wander around trying to figure out where, where the gold's gone and well, go I, ahead and get the maybe, harpoon stash in there? Well, maybe we should all... Um, I could, I'll tap all of their shoulders and point in the direction to a cave. I'm going to go towards the cave. Uh, as you get closer to the cave, uh, we'll, you notice we'll a do. few coins and gems leading up. Like a trail? Yes. <laughs> Who's That's... following Haggis second? Oh. Second? Right no, no, all of your... Not second. Not second. <laughs> Manfang is second. He's so, the fighter. He's the point man. So like a, like a child, by each coin, I'm going to pick up and keep going through the tunnel. Cave. You're good. Uh, you notice it takes a hard high road. We might get air. We guys, we might get air. We might. I love me some good air. So we let's um, go up. Hang on a second. I have to do some math here. <laughs> uh -oh. You know, I feel like we might get a second chance to burn this damn town to the ground. Uh, Leaf, you are really feeling the burn here. Are we close to air mm. in this cave? Don't know yet. No. You uh, you got to ask Haggis that one. Yeah, I can't really ask. Um, I can't talk underwater. It, I'm going to swim forward a little bit faster. Okay. Uh, you uh, reach a mushroom cave. Right at the very top. I mean, it's shaped a like a mushroom or it's full of mushrooms. Shaped like a mushroom. Full uh, of mushroom. And there's a pocket of air right at the very top. Okay. Well, I'm going to go up and gulp some damn yeah, air. do the same. Leaf, you need it. You've need only taken it. one. Yeah, I only took one pill. Yeah. I still have my other one. Uh, everybody investigation check? I assume we're all going up to the air. Um, <laughs> 15. 18. That is a one. That one. For uh, eight, Haggis, ten, leading the way and having fantastic roles tonight, uh, notices a weird outcropping at the tip of the mushroom, which will allow you to go up and over into a larger pocket of air. Is it, I mean, I'm three feet tall. Can I climb that or is it going Easily. to be? Easily. This, is, this okay. is like six feet across. Okay. It is an unusual size. And, but it is very smooth. As very you reach smooth. up into the area, there is luminescent lichen attached to the walls, giving it an unusual orange glow. Huh. It looks Fair, Felix. So much. What's the matter? What's going on, Miss Chuckles? Is there is there any shadow here, or is it pretty, like, a pervasive glow in the area. There's shadows. What's going on, Felix? What are you laughing at? Probably yeah. climbing up in a butthole is why. A nice, smooth, round hole. Six uh -oh. feet no, I'm, I'm oh. laughing because of the imagery of climbing into this cave and there's a mushroom with some fluorescent <laughs> or, yeah, some luminescent orange lichen at the base of the mushroom. Just I'm, seems to be shot out. It's just, yeah, <laughs> just kind of everywhere. It's just... Yeah. It's a very interesting mental. Yeah, You're like, welcome. <laughs> like it's a like a, a place for waste to come down or something. 
Yeah. Or else. <laughs> yeah. At least one of you caught the imagery, so you're welcome. Uh, you notice that although it is very smooth, it is still rather damp uh, and somewhat slick. Everybody going up into this area? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. It opens up into a much larger cave system, and as you climb to the tip of the mushroom, you notice that Just it is up. a little bit slimy. Ew, gross. There's a, this vis a viscous system? material on it. Uh, but if you make a short leap over to a ledge where a damp cave is present, uh, maybe it'll be drier. Maybe. I'll make yeah, I got to get off this mushroom. I'll make the leap. Go ahead and give me a dex check. Should be easy. Oh, yeah, 19 without modifiers. Yeah, I rolled a 19 also. Oh, uh, do I have to roll? If you want to jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then I'm jumping. <laughs> That's a natural 20. Natural 20. I guess. I just want to put man thing knocked me down as I was trying to jump. Uh, uh, really? Do we add anything, or is this just like a normal would... roll? Dex. Dex. Oh, I didn't roll Dex. Thirteen. Because I'm just that great. Uh, Copious, as you launch yourself, uh, the viscous fluid creates uh, a lack of friction, and you slide down the mushroom shape and back into the water. Uh, you will have to climb back out and give it another shot. There is I no damage. You slid down the mushroom shaft. I am just really convinced Man Fang knocked me down, so I'm going to shout out Man Fang's name and say, "You a hole!" as I slide off. Into the water, a -hole, and I'm gonna yell back a -hole, now. A -hole, suck, a -hole. It. <laughs> suck it, suck it, suck it. Uh, as these guys are yelling at each other, uh, Leaf Felix Hoggis, give me an insight check. Oh my god, think of those cave dwellers use echo fifteen. Oh, 15, 15, 15, 15, eight, nineteen. Uh, Haggis, you're busy watching the Comedy of Errors. Leaf, uh, well, Felix, you notice, hey, there's some coins over here. This is kind of cool. So you pocket uh, 2D10 worth of coins. Uh, Leaf, is this cave breathing? Because there's a... And everything on this ledge is slimy. Oh, are we? Oh, I'm going to mention it to whoever's on the ledge with me. Do you hear that? Felix. Once he points I'm, it out, yeah. Hear, hear something? That? Did you say hear something? Yeah, yeah I hear. Yeah. Wait, do I hear it or am I just dazzled by the coins? Uh, no, once he points it out, you can hear it clearly. Man thing, you hear that? Uh, yes. No, Man Fang oh, does man, not. Yeah. He's yelling at Copious. Copious is yelling at him. Uh, we are up here. <laughs> Where exactly are we? You are in a large cave. Uh, there are scattered gems and coins. A everywhere. cave could mean a lot of things. A cave first could of mean all, a lot of first things. of all, first of all, I'm gonna. I want to go near a wall. I just want to touch the wall. Is it? Is this stone? Is this? Yeah, you're inside the cliff. It is a dark volcanic stone, uh, a little bit on the porousy side. There okay. are several natural That's form tiers. It looks like the water has risen above the mushroom shape several times before, creating several different tiers. Uh, but other than that, it seems to go deeper into the cliff. Uh, the golden gems kind of lead you towards the back of this. Copious, do you want to try and get back up? I do. Go ahead and give me a dex check. I'm going to try to jump the sphincter again. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 12. 12 makes it, uh, even though Haggis has disappeared. Uh, you are on the ledge with everybody else, and you see them doing this. Give me an investigation check. No. Nope. You don't hear it. Uh, where the hell did all this gold come from? And you also notice... A few empty bags. But empty bags. Empty bags. But there's coins and gems scattered everywhere. Well, I'm going to pick up a bag and start putting yeah, coins nice in. time to load up, guys. That's why we came here. I feel like the Little Rascals episode where they go in the Giants. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
All right, uh, so there's a path of these, right? We see them going off. Uh, they actually oh, scattered oh. everywhere. But the, the cave itself goes back. It's several tiers high. Goes back. There's slime everywhere. Every time you pick up a coin, it's like, it's like snot. Uh, however, why are they slimy? I don't hey, know. You're the druid. Why are these things slimy? This is a natural phenomenon. No, I don't know. Let me look. Uh, Leaf, before you do that, yeah, uh, tramp, give me a wisdom save. Wisdom save, okay. Uh, yep, that would be uh, 17. You hear a voice okay. inside your head saying, Kill your party, but you are able to resist it. You do not know where the voice in your head is coming from. And I will tell the guys, guys, there's a presence here. It just tried to uh, get a hold of my mind. A loud sucking noise can be heard near the back of the and cave. I'll say, Felix, stop that, damn it. <laughs> the succubus. Uh, Leaf, you have dark vision. Anybody else have yep. dark vision? Dark vision. Uh, I could light a torch. <laughs> Opius. Really, you're going to light a wet torch? <laughs> Copious and... SpongeBob SquarePants torch. There is something enormous moving from the back of the cave towards you, and it has tentacles. So I'm just going to oh, very geez. calmly move right. a, in the Cthulhu, Cthulhu. And then once I've, I've distanced myself and the rest of the party's between me and what the creature is, I'll say, guys, there's something back there. <laughs> Uh, now, if you guys were picking up coins, roll your percentage again, but only take half this time. Uh, as copious. Now, I already picked up away, a second set. Yep. Do I roll for a third set of coins? You roll for a third set. And this time it's percentage halved. Four, four coins? That, that's a copious had earlier. <laughs> yeah, well, God, you're, I can't believe you, you're doing this. <laughs> Not off. I'm taking two coins. Uh, right. Copious is starting to back it. away. How about we all just roll initiative for right now? See where this goes. 18. 19 or plus one, uh, 20 dirty. 11. Ooh, that's a six. 16. What was yours, Felix? 16. Uh, dirty 20 leaf uh, this thing's enormous uh, and as you start to move around this whole cave's filled with slime oh filled with what slime looks like a Nickelodeon set there see I incorporated the younger generation into that one multi-generational uh, campaign yeah, you know you got, you got you got to do all sets you can't just talk about Lucille Ball <laughs> that's right <laughs> So what do you want to do, Leaf? I, and Leaf. I gotta, and, first, I'm, I'm going to cast Daylight. Oh, very nice. Uh, the cavern explodes into bright light. Each of you kind of squint, squint uh, at the huge glare coming in. Everybody, roll Arcana check. Oh, great! I love doing Arcana checks. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, 20. 30, 20. Yeah, yeah, mine's a real 20. Huh, that's a, 17. That's a 13. That's very good, actually. 11. The nat 20. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to send you this message, and uh -huh. you, can, you can decide what you want to say. Is it a succubus? No. It's not a succubus. <laughs> I heard sucking. I just, it, it just, it was just a great opportunity. You know what that one is? No, I don't. I'm looking it up right now while I'm talking to you. <laughs> sure. Uh, this thing is sliding forward. Uh, he casts daylight. I'll take the 18. Copious. Uh, this bloated Copious looks like a 20. whale carcass. Oh, 20. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Initiative. I thought you were talking about Arcana. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Initiative. Uh, sorry, so you, you, yep. Yeah, you beat me. So what would you like to do with this bloated whale sliding carcass coming at you. Would you guys like me to tell yes. you what it is? Yes. This is an aboleth. Shit. Okay. <laughs> What's an How do yeah. you spell that? A-B-O-L-E-T-H. 
I'm yeah. going to shoot two Eldritch Blast beams right in its clo cloaca. Sure. Well, very nice. Yeah. You go right ahead. You better have some heavy duty at Eldritch Blast. I just Blast. want to point out, I, everybody else is between me and it. So. Yes. So don't roll a one. 19. Wow, that thing looks weird. And 22. Both hit. Uh, 13 points and 8 points. 21 total points. Got it. Uh, next up is the 16. Felix. Yeah, shit. Uh, do I, does it see us? Can I sneak attack it? Oh, uh, hell yes. Uh, <laughs> Leaf uh, lit up the cavern. Everybody yeah. sees everything. <laughs> But I was thinking that maybe it's blinded briefly by the uh, sudden onset of daylight. Blinded by the lights. It is not. Right. Okay. Can I sneak attack it? Because that's going to impact what I do. Uh, D12 against me. Six. We roll. This thing is nasty. Twelve. Ten. Damn it. Nope. It sees you moving. Okay. Uh... I think I am going to GTFO. I don't want to fight this thing. It looks pretty intimidating. I'm going to be making my way towards the door. Okay. Uh, fair Wait, enough. You're going down to door? tier two. You're going down uh, back down the way we came in? Is there another door? I, there's, you said there's cavern going everywhere. That's what I'm going to do then as my turn. Right. I'm going to look for another door. Give me an investigation check. Um, there are 14. Yeah, you don't see anything. <laughs> Going back down the way we came. Fair enough. Uh, next up is the 12, which is me. Uh, two tentacles. Grab Felix! Grab Felix! I can do a tail. You know what? <laughs> I think I'll try the tail attack since I've been rolling like poop. Uh, the tail attack will go after Felix as he turns tail and runs. 13 As you plus, hear a sound in the background go, get over here. 13 plus 9, 22. Oh. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's going to be painful. <laughs> and scorpion yell, get over here. That is not going to be painful at all. 15 damage. As you are swatted into the mushroom shaped stone <laughs> and slide off of it. Congratulations, it was a hit, but you are out of harm's way. Uh, next up is the 11 Haggis. Okay. This thing is hostile, right? <laughs> no, it's uh, not. Yep. Felix seems to think so, or maybe it was helping him. I'm, I'm just oh, a little curious. What's it uh, like? What's it made out of? You know, uh, it looks like blubber. It looks like a snail without a shell, only way bigger, like the size of a Winnebago. Okay, well, I have, a, I have a cra I'm going to acid splash this thing. Sure. Two acid. die six. Acid splash. Acid splash. The good news so, is this is a minor abolith. <laughs> it's a minor? It's a minor. It's only 16. <laughs> so Felix can't go Seven. looking at it. Exactly. <laughs> you can't go about you can't be in like a 50 foot radius of it. Uh Manfang, you're up. All right. I'm gonna the, the acid the seems to have had mixed results, I guess. I'm going to also spit acid at it, because that's something I can do. Sure. Um, <clears throat> that is a 17. Very nice. That hits. All right. Um, where's my acid? Where do I have to roll? Breath weapon. DC 14? No, that's not right. No, you hit it, so it's damage. Yeah, you got to roll dex, I think. God. 2d6 acid damage. That sounds yeah. right. So that's a six and a five. Two, six, half a damage. Top of the order. Yeah. 
round two. Yeah. Uh, Leaf. Lightning bolt. Mm, nice. In a cave. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Follow, follow up with Thunder Wave. Yeah, I, I rolled a 19, so. Oh, yeah, you blasted shit out of that. Do I get a saving throw on decks? Mm -hmm. uh, you get a saving throw on decks. Uh, that's an 18 on the roll, so I'll take half. Oh, shit. Uh, that's 21. <clears throat> that's another 11. That's 32 points. Uh, 16. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Not my bad. It's eight die six. Okay. That's another 10. So That's it'd another be another five. Got yep. it. Uh, everybody roll decks as stones start to fall. That's no, not six, gonna like a, just regular. Yep. Point two. Yep. If, if you're 12 or above, you're taking half. If you're below 12, you're taking full. Full damage is two murder hobos. 12. Damn. That's yeah. a, I rolled, I rolled so 12. I, I rolled a 12. What does that do? Uh, 12 saves, so you only take six damage. Uh, Copius <laughs> takes a big rock to the head. Uh, that Can was I have Danny dodge it. that and do half of that damage? Nope. <laughs> Ooh, Felix just hit zero hit points. Wait, I'll use my medical skills. No, for God's sake, go ahead to man fang do medical. Uh, I'm going to with my hand. Focus, you are closest to Felix uh, because he was diving into the water. Uh, you notice he dives into the water and must have hit a rock because he's just floating. <laughs> oh, does he have like, a car oh, in his face now? Does he uh, have a car? Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me help with that. Copius doesn't have healing spells, but I have a potion. Can I can I give that to him if he's unconscious? I mean, can I pour it down yes. his throat? Does that count? Yep. Okay. Sure On my can. turn when you get to me in the remember to pull his hair. He likes that. It's your turn right now. You got the 18. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. Remember to hold his hair back. Pull so, his hair. I, like I, I will I will like pull his hair back. This <laughs> Feel very familiar to you, Felix. So don't worry. Did you, <laughs> back. Did, didn't you have the suppository healing? <laughs> Damn. I'm told that gets to the system faster. So because he likes it rough. It does it gets absorbed through the intestine? So we'll go with that. So we'll make sure that's uh, two die eight plus uh, two. It's one of the original two d two d eight plus four. Uh, no eight. ones. Jesus. Uh, so that's Felix. I'll let you roll your own healing, but uh, I'm, and then I'm I thought you have to roll it. I gave you the potion. I'll let you roll your own. Oh, recovery. okay. Two d eight plus four. Before he wakes up, I'm taking his coin purse. <laughs> You're <a> dick. <laughs> you cost me a healing potion. <laughs> so I get eleven hit points back. <laughs> that's that's <so> good. <laughs> Felix, uh, when I come, come to, to I'm gonna say Philadelphia, Philadelphia. <laughs> this is too much. Hey, Felix, Felix, where did you keep those dice of yours at? Nice. The loaded, loaded dice. dice. Oh, the loaded dice. Ah, I should have. I didn't reach into his cod piece. I took his coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the coin purse may have been in the prison wallet. So when you were shoving that suppository up there, you just found it. <laughs> Pull it out to give you the heat oh, potion. God. The good news yeah, is you got to go that one step extra. <laughs> Felix, you got the 16 as you breathe the fresh air. Uh, <gasps> uh, I got to get the flock out of here. Or do you want to fight? <laughs> uh I guess I got to fight now. Hey, and just for so I have you are in the water. Oh, I'm in the water. In the water. Oh, no. right? And the creature's still above on the ledge, right? Correct. There are three tiers. The creature's on the top tier. Felix made the dive and got tail swiped into the water uh, and got hit with a rock falling from the ceiling. And that's when you. <laughs> I'm at before. I'm going to look around first now that I've come to and 
what are my uh, party members doing? Are they still fighting or are they fleeing? Copius is right next to you. The others are up on tier two. I'm going to ask Copius, are we fighting or running? I, well, how is I, this? Towards running, to be honest with you. Okay, perfect. We're, <laughs> perfect. We're running. I'm, I'm popping the second pill, and I'm getting the hell out of here. Uh, Twenty and a ten. Uh, ten. Seventeen plus nine. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Math. Okay. Uh, you go underwater and you can breathe normally. Uh, Copus, Perfect. were you following and then I take it? Not yet. Okay. No! <laughs> you just said we're running! <laughs> I said I was leaning towards running. I want to make sure they know we're running. The rest of the point first. 12. <laughs> my turn. Leaf. Again. Wisdom save. Oh. Glad I got a plus five on that one. <laughs> Yeah, if it, man, 20, if it were man fang, it'd already be over. It'd be done. Kill 30, your 20. party. Kill your party. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, 11. Bite my butt. Bite my butt. Okay. 11, Haggis. That should be me. How is this thing looking? Like, after all <laughs> the damage we did, how, how is it? Is it standing right, up fine? fine? It's uh, sliming its way towards tier two. Hmm. Um, can I look b- on the bottom tier to see if everyone's still there? Like everyone's accounted for, like Felix and Copius. Felix is gone. Okay, Copius well, I'm is in the water. <laughs> so, are we running? No, we could kill him. It, it we he did like thirty something damage, and it looks I, fine. The first he did attack, 39, 59 he did, damage. He did fifty nine damage, and this thing is still standing. But it's fine. half dead. Then it's half dead. Go for I, it. I, Attack I, it I'd go with that. <laughs> that's a risk. Use that harpoon, man. Yeah, harpoon that sucker. Um, I don't know how to use it, but okay. Um, no, no, you use it as a spear. Yeah, man fang, you got it. I'm going to drop another tier. Just okay. flat bottom one. Sure. I guess uh, I'll use my harpoon. All right, man fang, everybody's retreating. Use your harpoon. <laughs> That is a. What do I add to the harpoon? Strength. No, let me just write that down. You ever see uh, the Martian movie? In this case, you're Jack Black running forward right before you are. <laughs> that attack from Mar- Mars attacks. Mars attacks. Mars attack. Attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. Jack Black right before he disintegrates. I thought he was talking about John. Well, I've got to roll for the damage for the harpoon. D8 plus your strength. D8 mm-hmm. plus strength. Plus your strength. So here's the thing, Leaf. Do you think uh, the what happened to Felix in the water was from this creature inside this cave? Do I? Yeah. No, I think my lightning bolt set the rocks flying. <laughs> Wait till I throw this thunder wave this next turn. <laughs> I might be able to collapse this on bitch. <laughs> 12, 12 damage. <laughs> 12 damage. Got it. Ooh, as I stab myself <laughs> with the harpoon. Oh, no. I, I actually broke the pen. Break up. Got it. Ah, uh, that brings us to top of the order. Leaf. Do it, Leaf. Do it. You know you want to. Round I do want to. How far away is it? Uh, it is on Tier 3 at the edge of Tier 2, right next to Manfang. Uh, you are still on Tier yeah. 2, unless I am mistaken. I am. So Manfang's between me and it now. Uh, D12 Manfang, D12 Leaf. Oh, so you charged three. it. Ten. Three. No, you can uh, shoot it around him. Around him? He's okay. kind of to your right. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave then. Uh, do I need a dex check? 
Uh, constitution saving throw, please. Five. It's not going to matter what my pluses are. I'm going to fail that one. Yep. Don't worry, man, Fang. I'm in the water. And I, I rolled a, a 15 plus my Uchi Mama. All right, let me let me get my die eight out here. That is yeah. two, four die eight. That's eight. Six is 14. And seven is 21. And eight more is 29. That's that's a pretty healthy hit. Uh, let's see which one of you gets a surprise. He pushed 10 feet away also. Uh, Felix, as you're swimming underwater. Damn <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Splash! A halfling in a red vest sinks past you. Uh, is he close enough that I can grab him and pat him down before he, <laughs> before I push him on his way? Uh, Dex check, sure. Hey, you might have some of those tablets, man. Uh, seven. Nope, you can't get a hold of him. Wait a minute. When leave, we hear the thunderous reverberation from another thunder wave, right? And you're all deaf. <laughs> We're all deaf. <laughs> and all of a sudden, in the water, from somewhere above the cavern down, we see a... Or a behind. Half, but yeah. it, we see one of these stupid red vest halflings crashes into the water. Everybody but Felix, give me an investor, or give me a perception check to see if you see the <laughs> flying through the air. Uh, 13 and uh, 8, 21. 10, 18. Do I got to roll? Yeah. What do I got to roll with? I wasn't listening. Perception. Perception. Die 20. That is a 23. Uh, Haggis, Manfang, and Leaf, as you see the giant slime thing get pushed back like a tube of toothpaste, the halfling goes flying through the air, ricochets off the ceiling, and plops down right about where Felix is at. It came out of this thing? Came out from behind it. So it's like, it's like covering up the thing and like behind it, pushed back, came out. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering where it came from. Freaking, oh, I hate these halflings. All right. Uh, uh, number you, two. That's why I wanted to burn the damn town down. Hey, Copious, you're, you're up. From the water, do I have eye uh, line of sight on the aboleth? Oh, yes. All right, I'm going to shoot it with uh, Eldritch Blast. Double bullet. Good. Good hit. Good hit. Uh, 14 on one, 22 on the other. 22 hits, 14 does not. Uh, only six points of damage. Uh, Felix. Damn it. Uh, I'm now realizing that no one is following me, so I guess I will. The halfling is. Well, I'm the halfling, I think, is leading now. I, how far underwater am I? You're about thirty feet. I guess you 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 declared in no uncertain terms. GTFO, I believe, was the exact terminology. That is what I said. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm gonna go out of the cave and go back outside and wait for my friends to come with me. Fair enough. They'll be here in just a minute. I'm sure. Uh, tentacles. Uh, let's see. Haggis is on tier one, leaving Manfang and Leaf on tier two. I will go after Manfang and Leaf. Leaf. 15 plus nine for 24. Yeah, that hits me. Ow. Manfang, uh, 12 plus nine, 21. 21 for 21. Here is where it gets ugly. Both of you DC Constitution, and both of you take 12 damage. Wow. What do we got to roll? Con save. D20 con save. Con. Oh, a natural 20 on my con save. Uh, that was a 19 with my plus six Constitution, so that's a um, 25. Very nice. Neither one of you are going to turn into slime this round. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank God. God. Oh, thank God. How much damage? I'm sorry. I got lost 12. in the swine. 12 damage. Haggis, you're up. 
Yeah, these things will turn okay. you into a slime creature if you aren't careful. Uh, so, um, I'm on the bottom too. tier. You're on tier one. Um, what? Uh, who else is on tier one? Copius is in the water uh, with his arms resting on it like a uh, super mom at a pool. And a and a um <laughs> and a halfling just strangely fell here for no reason. Yep. So that means it was like something must have pushed it, unless it's a, like a, a unless it's like an old um, body or something, right? It's a Michael Bay film. The halfling was just exploded out of the ground, shot out of a cannon. <laughs> Michael Bay. <laughs> I'm going to ask and splash the creature again. Maybe ask the half one where it came from. Okay. When it says 2d6, that means I roll the die six twice, right? Correct. Gotcha. Eight <clears throat> again, and then it says five area. Uh, leaf, man fang, roll a save. Oh, I got to roll a constitution save again. Roll an 18. Dex save. All right. That'd be 19. That's 19. Uh, yeah, your associates are not yeah. affected. Uh, Manfang, you're up. All right. I am going to hit it with the harpoon. Wait. Yeah, hit it with the harpoon again. Sure. I guess since I'm already holding it. Um. Oh, that didn't look one. Uh, that'd be Leaf. <laughs> you stab All right, let's leaf. roll it. How do you stab Leaf? He swung it uh, and impaled his grandpa. Way go, turd. That's eight. Eight damage. Wait, no, that's four. You take half. Four damage. That's right. Four damage. Uh, that brings us to the end of round three. Ah. Round four. Leaf, you're up. Got any more lightning bolts or thunder waves? Uh, nah, I can't cast that again. I'm going to cast Flaming Spear right. right next to it. Sure. And that is a 15 and 4. <clears throat> 19. 19 hits. Now, this is a water type Pokemon. Would fire, it work? This is yeah, it's a slime bag. Mucus. It's going to smell really good. I, uh, Dexterity save on that one for you. Not 20. Well, I guess you saved that, didn't you? Yeah. So you take half damage, I guess. Oh, well. And that is 5, 4, 9, and 2 is 11. Well, yeah, you're getting there. Uh, copious. If I still have line of sight, I'll hit it for two. You do. Uh, dirty 20 on one hit. Uh, odd leaf, even man fang, or you know, one, two leaf, three, four man fang, five, six haggis, who's on the tier above you. Uh, so 11 points to the aboleth for the one beam, and you want to die six for the mm -hmm. one, two, two, two. two leaf. Damn you, Copious. Uh, five points for Leaf. Is that half? I'm getting a little. That was the half. I'm, getting, I'm assuming that this thing is taking control of the members of the party and having them attack me. They are, because it knows you're the biggest threat to it. I, I would assume. It definitely does attack you. Son's a bitch. My most likely last attack, I will let the die roll. Looks like it's going to be the tail swipe. Uh, odd leaf, even man fang. Now, no, it's going after leaf the druid because clearly he is the brains of this outfit. <laughs> yeah, right. A like natural one. <laughs> Oops, missed me. Uh, you will have tell me he leaf. hit one of those red vests. Yeah, oh, no, he hit himself. He hit, the, the, hit himself. You're, yeah, you will not get the advantage because he's not going to last, I assume. But if it comes back to you, you will have advantage on him. Uh, that brings us to 
You know what? Uh, I didn't let Felix go yet. Yeah, I think I. Oh, well, he's gone right out the damn out of there. door. I'm gonna look for my coin purse or any other gems because I seem to have dropped it when I hit the water. That's true. Probably yeah, down below. Out. Yeah. Uh, is there? Are there any gems that I can steal? Probably not. We already scraped it pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah, but you only scraped it coming up the one side of the mushroom-shaped head. Uh, I'll let you uh, roll 2d20. <laughs> all <right. laughs> We're all going to need a bath when we get back out of so here. Y- you well, said like there's some sort of slime that turns people into those creatures? Yes. The creature does that. So, but that slime may be on like a wall or something. Oh, just... that slime's everywhere. Okay, I, I, have some, I have some vials I do have. I would just like to start collecting as much as like the warm oh, stuff. As I, can rest- I can't wait for the next day. I get to turn a little girl into a slime monster. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's man. still alive, right? <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to start, you know, find- without touching the slime, of like course. Peter just start- sure. Uh, man, <laughs> Fang, are you going to end it miserable life? Oh, man, yeah. Fang, do it. I'll do it. You can punch you if you want. Or you could shoot an arrow. No, no I'm hitting with the spear. I'm going to stab it in the heart and say, I stab at thee with the heart of heart pain. From the I depth stab of at thee with the heart of heart justice. You know, that guy's dead. Thanks for tearing the scab off. <laughs> that is a 19. Uh, how much damage are you going to do? Because you're probably going to kill it. That is... 12. Uh, that kills it. Yay! Slime begins to ooze down into the water, filling the pool where Felix is searching with strands of blanche goo. <laughs> hey, do I have a I, line of sight on Felix down below or not? Uh, you do hard. for the time being. If I can reach him and around, I'll go down and tell him that, you know, indicate, come back up. It's, yeah. It's safe. That, oh, it's ever, safe now? That I thought we were all going out of here, but yeah. No, okay. you're the only coward that left. No, I was standing guard at the door. <laughs> 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 he was actually oh, dead. <laughs> he did actually die. <laughs> uh, everybody roll investigation check. Oh. Uh, 16. Uh, and 18. Uh, mine would have been an 18, but since I got this negative three investigation. Felix? One. It's a wow. <laughs> You've got goo in your eyes. <laughs> he's got, he's got goo all over his face. Unbound <laughs> Got goo uh, all over his face. This reminds me of another time. He had goo all over his face. Well, tell him, Felix, you look like that thing that Copia shoved up your rectum. He did what? Damn near killed him. Uh, Copius <laughs> and Leaf, <laughs> you, you notice a, a crack in the cave wall in the back. Uh, On oh, the third tight. level? Yeah, that third tier? It'll be pretty tight for the adults. The gnome and the halfling shouldn't have any problem okay. once Felix. <laughs> I'll send you a picture later, Felix. <laughs> Let's, Thank uh, you. Guys, there's a, uh, we're explorers. Is there anything else in here of note? Oh, yeah, there's a shitload of gold and a bunch of stuff. Uh, but we're at 637, so I will send you all. Yeah, time to stop I'll this. Send, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll send you guys the uh, treasure trove. You have killed uh, the protector of Lear. I'm sure there's not going to be any fallout from the sea deity. Thank God you've got a ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Haggis. <what's laughs> hey. I enjoyed it. Very good. Uh, man, a few words. You need to cut down your speeches. <laughs> uh, go, or copious. Jason. I, you know, I missed the first part, so I'm not exactly sure what whale loving looks like, but I will watch the video afterwards. Yeah, they uh, they tried to wreck the ship. <laughs> Fortunately, you had a ton of No, it was a sperm whale, whale fault. You keep saying they. Who's navigating that ship? I 
we I hit the whale dead on. <laughs> like yeah. I didn't even miss it. Yeah, he thought that was foreplay, dumbass. <laughs> Well, it kind of was. I, all I, 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 I now have Man Fang quoting Moby Dick and walking around with a heart. <coughs> oh, you yeah. Absolutely. His I new believe, name is Ahab, Captain Ahab Haggis Crapstain. Yeah, and I believe when we hit the whale, there were two Titanic quotes that came out. Two. Yeah, you've got the youngest members of the party uh, quipping eloquently. The rest of the party needs to be in a movie with somebody called the hedgehog uh aj what'd you think i i thought it was great the imagery in that cave was fantastic oh and how the k how the cave monster splooged goo all over your face that's exactly what happened yes yeah that was that was kind of by accident but it just kept i'll tell you what aj it, it just look up that aboleth Read I up did. That's that why thing. I got the hell out of there. I googled <laughs> it when luck. you said it and was like, "Oh fuck that! Not doing that shit." Uh, Man, Fang, how'd you do tonight? I thought I did amazing. I got a harpoon. It's what color is it? Metal. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it would be blue, but I guess we'll go with that. We'll Whoa. go with gray metal. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, Last but certainly not least, the senior member friend. Oh, I, that was fun. I was a little worried, and I hate what I hate is my biggest spells. You son of a bitch, you always save on them things, and I never get full damage. I nice know, given, I know. Nice taking the way. Uh, <laughs> I know. The, oh, the good, I hate it. Spoiler alert: the good news is you found a, a doorway. Because bad news, Leaf, you can't breathe underwater right now until you do something. So, uh, folks, yeah. for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate you watching the show. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, uh, it's down there listed somewhere. Thank you to Pirate I'll Dog. I'll take that personal crap, Stane. <laughs> thank, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for Dice that helped me out right there when I needed it. And, of course, Odd Fish Games. The game didn't stink, so we didn't need it, but you know what? Uh, Odd Fish Games Adventure Sense always brings it to light. Uh, join us Tuesday for the talk show, and folks, we will get the hell out of here. Have a great rest of the weekend. Uh, you there?